Um, I would like to ask, please, the principals of the following uh, schools to join us here on the stage, the Bertie Stem uh, High School, the Durham City of Medicine Academy, the Early Middle College at Bennett, and Green Early College High School. While they're coming up to the stage, all four of these schools this past year had few, if any, dropouts. And those with graduating classes this year had just about all of the ninth graders who joined them four years ago walk across the stage. They've all created cultures of supportive relationships that are no surprise to everybody in this room and they have all gone the distance uh, in serving their students. And let me say a word uh, about each of them. In uh, just four years, the Bertie Stem uh, High School, this is the Bertie Stem High School, not an early college, has become synonymous with success in a place that is often not uh, associated with success. Students in this school have a can-do attitude, as does the faculty. They thrive quite often in an environment that does not necessarily support that leadership. They enjoy a leader who has gone uh, every inch of the way with every individual student and to be certain that the students are ready. The passing rate on the end of course tests has reached 92% and the school's uh, first class finished with a graduation rate of 94%. By any measure, the Bertie Stem High School is a success. Please join me in congratulating them. Next, the Early Middle College at Bennett is proving that when the common instructional and framework is implied in every classroom, magical things can happen. The school saw a 30-point gain last year in its overall passing rate on traditional measures. The school's graduation rate exceeded 95% in 2010. The all-girls school has developed a culture in which students are held to high expectations, but are also nurtured and supported in ways that help them grow to achieve ambitious personal goals. Students at Bennett Early Middle College High School are able to do things they may not have otherwise thought possible. Please join me in congratulating Bennett Early Middle College. Based solely on performance, Green Early College High School stands out. 100% graduation rate uh, with a class of 2011, 91% passing rate last year on EOC exams, high growth rate on state ABC results, but very few early colleges in North Carolina hew to the mission of serving underrepresented students as well as Green Early College High School. Fully 90% of the students in this rural school come from first generation college going families. A high percentage of students have parents who didn't finish high school. Almost half of the students are Hispanic. Three quarters of the student, uh, students are from low income families. There are no excuses uh, for uh, not succeeding at Green Early College High School. Please join with me congratulating Green Early College High School. Lastly, it's been a dramatic and interesting year at the Durham City of Medicine Academy. Uh, the principal has won district honors as principal of the year and has been active in presentations and significant policy environments uh, throughout the year. Uh, the school combines the kind of leadership and strong academic culture that has resulted in double-digit gains for students. Durham City of Medicine Academy has been selected as the anchor school to lead the network of STEM schools focusing on health and life sciences and is a finalist for the Innovator Award for the opportunities that it's offering to each of its students. The school has created a place where their theme really means something personal for each and every student. Let's congratulate Durham City of Medicine Academy. These schools all are doing very, very extraordinary things, and we're just honored to be up here on this stage with them. I'm going to ask Amy to step forward and tell us who is the recipient of this year's Innovator Award. Amy? It's just like being at the Oscars with the envelope and everything. 
It is my pleasure to announce that the 2011 North Carolina New Schools Project Innovator recipient is Bertie Stem High School. Dr. Habit, North Carolina New Schools Project. Thank you for recognizing the work that has been done at Bertie Stem High School in Windsor, North Carolina. It's been a hard road, but we are here and we are thankful to, to the uh, staff and we are asking the staff if you would please stand at this time. Central Office staff who supported us in our efforts to reach this first graduating class on this year. Again, we want to thank North Carolina New Schools Project for the support that has been given uh, through instructional coaches, administrative coaches, and, and other support to uh, help us make a difference in Bertie County. 